Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's the 2023 BMW X3 xDrive 30i with M Sport in Alpine White. All right, so this is the 2023 BMW X3 xDrive 30i in Alpine White with the M Sport package. So what I wanna do is let me just take a lap around the vehicle um, there's not really any changes from 2022 to 2023 for X3, but I have yet to feature an Alpine White X3 on my channel in 2023, so I just wanted to take the opportunity, and I know because it is winter uh, and it looks kind of like that outside, there's not as many clean cars for me to, uh, to review in my videos, so uh, this one is ready for pickup. It's going a little bit later on today, so while I have it all nice and cleaned up, I just wanted to take the opportunity to share it with you. So let's take a look at all the details. Okay, so the first thing is, we have the individual shadow line headlights here, LEDs, so it uh, is all black inside of there in ter terms of the housing, and it looks really nice. One thing that's interesting is that you can kind of see through here, which is, a little bit interesting but I do like the shape of the headlights I like the form factor and I like the M Sport bumper design especially with the contrast on Alpine white we've got that one piece kidney grill uh, in black uh, and everything else is black as well which looks really nice now if we come around to the sides here so we have body colored wheel arches because it's M Sport and these are the 19 inch Y spoke uh, 887 M wheels and we've got blue M Sport brakes so that looks really nice. I love the contrast there as well with the, uh, the bi-color. And on the front fender here we've got that little black cutout accent. We've got the nice body lines going right through the door handles. The other line just down here looks really nice as well. And we've got body colored side mirrors. We have black window surrounds, we have black roof rails, we have panoramic sunroof, we've got shark fin style antenna. So this car was tinted by us, it's 35%. And if we continue going along to the back, so we have rear body colored wheel arches as well. And right from the back here, so I love this uh, spoiler that we've got on the top. We've got your rear wiper, we've got the tail lights, that is the new design from 2022 LCI. And we've got X3 badging and xDrive 30i badging in chrome. So back end looks awesome. And at the bottom here, we've got horizontal reflectors. We've got the freeform exhaust on the 30i. And uh, if we come over here, I'm pretty sure that this one has not deleted this feature so that we're able to open the tailgate with a kick so that's pretty awesome up there we've got a button to close another one to close and lock we have a cargo cover inside of here 12 volt plug grocery bag hanger here and if we lift this up so we do have some more storage space here we've got your carpeted floor mats we've got a little tool kit in there that has your tow hook and your wheel lock key this is actually a designated wheel lock key spot by the way and if we lift these two panels off on either side, so there's a storage space down there, there's a storage space down there, so don't forget about those. I'm pretty sure Border Patrol knows about those, so please declare everything if you cross the border. And uh, then I'm just gonna be fancy and kick my foot underneath here so we can have this close. Nice. Now let's approach from the rear passenger door. So we do have comfort access on all four door handles. So you can touch the inside of the door handle or touch these three little lines here uh, to lock the car or unlock the car while the key is in proximity. This is what the key looks like. It's got the M colors on it because this is the M Sport model. Inside we have the aluminum rhombical trim. We've got some uh, lilac ambient lighting going on because we do have iDrive 7 in here. We have the peasant blockers, AKA sunshades. We have some uh, storage area in the door. It says X over here, it says X3 up here on the B pillar as well. 
And we've got the winter mats inside, and this is the black perforated Sensitec seating. Headrest back here can flip up, but if nobody's sitting here, you can flip it back down. You've got uh, release levers to fold down the seats in the 60-40 split. You have an armrest in the center here with the cup holders. And at the top here, there's a release lever to fold down the center for the center pass-through. Up top, we have some reading lights, coat hanger, and door, and the handles on each side. So that is uh, on both sides. And on the back of the center console, we've got some rear climate controls, vents, two USB Type-C charging ports and a storage space. And we've also got some vents underneath the front seats there as well. Nice place to sit. Let's go look at the front area. All right, approaching from the front passenger door, I open up the door. There is a welcome light carpet here, but it's barely visible with the amount of light that I've got right now around me. Aluminum rhombical door trim. We've got the X emblazoned into that part. Aluminum M door sill, that looks nice. And we've got power seat. There's an under the thigh extension here. If I open the glove box, it's illuminated in there. I love the uh, lilac ambient lighting color. And here we have iDrive 7 and we have Live Cockpit Professional. There's your climate control system, programmable memory buttons. And if I lift that up, I like how it says X3 here. So we do have a wireless charger and uh, communication pad. There's your uh, digital key for Android users. We have your 12 volt plug and your cup holders there. We've got your gear selector. We have all of your different driving modes. We have uh, traction control, park assist button, automatic engine start stop off, and there's your start stop button. This one is for hill descent control, auto hold, uh, electronic parking brake, and there's your iDrive controller. If I lift that up, there's a USB Type-C charging port in there with some illumination as well. And up top here, you've got your visors. We have a microphone right here, just over here, a uh, handle, and let's go open the door on the other side. All right, so if we approach from the driver's side, let's open that up. So the windows were just tinted, so there's a sticker there saying not to roll down the windows. But there's a button here that makes it so only the driver can control the windows, which may be important. Uh, all four window controls, one touch up and down, side mirror controls to adjust it, uh, to fold the side mirrors in. You've got the tailgate button here, which can open and close so long as the key is inside the car. You have your door handle, unlock lock, memory buttons, the X there. And on this side, we've got full power seat with lumbar as well. So that's in the center, in, out, up, or down. And then on this side, we have your exterior lighting controls. We have um, this little wheel to brighten or dim your dash. This is uh, roadside parking lamps, storage space down here. And we have your signal stock, board computer, automatic high beams, cruise control, heated steering wheel, radio controls, paddle shifters on each side, and wiper stock. So one click up will put you in auto. There's normally a light here that turns on when the vehicle's on. And on the end here, when you click one position from off to on, that activates the rear wiper. Twist and hold sprays the rear, pull and hold sprays the front. And you've got the nice M Sport steering wheel here as well. Some nice little M badging down there. Let's pop the hood and see what powers this beast. Two pulls, it does say two times here, but it's barely visible. And uh, let's go take a look. So we don't have to find anything underneath here. We just simply lift it up. And there we have it. This is the B46 two liter inline four twin power turbo. And this produces 248 horsepower, 258 foot pounds of torque. And we got positive battery terminal. We have negative battery terminal down there. It is actually labeled as negative right there. And washer fluid here as well. Beautiful engine bay and even more beautiful vehicle. All right, so we're at the back of the vehicle and I just wanna do a remote engine start, cold start. So on the key, one, two, three on the lock button, wait four seconds. One, two, three, you can also shut it off. And that sounded pretty good. 
All right, so let me just do one more walk all the way around the vehicle so you can see all the lines and all the angles and how everything looks before we conclude the video. But uh, X3 obviously is one of our bread and butter cars, very popular. And uh, I think when they unveil the new X3, I think that's going to be in 2025, uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the design. I think it's going to resemble the X1 a lot. Uh, the new U11 X1, which is uh, like that. So imagine this vehicle, but larger. That's what I think the new X3 is going to look like. All right, everyone. So that was my tour of this beautiful Alpine White 2023 BMW X3 xDrive 30i. Uh, if you guys like the vehicle, if you guys like the car, if you guys like me, make sure you like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.